Hello Agricultural Biology. This video is about how to set up and also use a Pasco Scientific's equipment on EKG. We have an EKG monitor that's hooked up to our data logger and I want you to be able to number one, open a file, number two, set up a page, number three, I want you to be able to save a file and change the name, and number four, I want you to be able to print everything um, from uh, your experiment. So today what we're going to learn about is electrical heart rate, or EKG. And the EKG basically uh, will show us the electrical impulses and the phases uh, surrounding the heart. So one of our, our, our first things in physiology today is we're going to be learning the basically the uh, electrical impulses of the heart and the various phases and what happens to each of those phases. We're going to uh, be using your data logger and inside your data logger is, is basically software called a uh, spark view. So really what I have it on this computer as well so you're going to um, see this when you log in and you'll see these voltage and heart rate because you've got your um, amplifier box and sensor for the EKG already plugged into one of the ports and if you don't then it's probably not plugged in properly so that's important for you to do plug um, the uh, amplifier box in nice and secure and you'll get voltage and heart rate come uh, up on your monitor now because I don't I don't have a pre-made lab. You have to build your own lab. So, you know, several times of this year, you have to build your own uh, page. And it's really rel relatively simple. I want to show you how. Once you have this screen, uh, what you're going to do is if you go down to the bottom here, and I'm going to draw it in blue here. And if we take a look right there, I'm going to press on build. So I'm going to press build. And as I do that, all of a sudden you see this table going on here. Now if you take a look at the, the voltage right here and and heart rate, those are the things you want to basically make into graphic representations you can read. Because data comes in a variety of different forms but you get to choose which form you want. I think the easiest one for EKG is make it into a graph. And what's really happening here is um, as you're doing EKGs um, you're looking at two things, heart rate and voltage. So we're going to look at voltage first, and we're going to make that into a graph by clicking this graph thing. So I've clicked the voltage here, and here one of the tools in the tool palette has an icon shaped like a um, graph. So I'm going to click that. So now you got some of your page taken up by a graph. And then next thing is we want to look at the heart rate as well, and I want to turn that into digits. So essentially what you have going here is you have your graphic graphic representation of voltage in the form of a graph and then over here we have your heart rate and beats per minute so you can track that as well so once you've got that done you're gonna press OK here on the bottom if you look at the the bottom right hand corner you're gonna press OK and this is what your page is gonna look like now you're not done here this is probably the most critical part is to save this page so that if something should happen at least you have that so you're going to go to the upper right hand corner if you notice this little triangle and these little dots with the lines. This is a representation, an icon that represents sharing or networking. So we're going to either save something so you can share it with somebody else or you're going to print it typically. So we're going to click this icon, the triangle tri uh, um, icon and then we're going to uh, save a file as because you want to make a name that's unique to you. So you're going to click that and it says Sa save file as and then press, I don't press anything. And then what you want to do is like investigation two or three or four comes up. But we want to replace that with EKG. So we're going to print E, type E, K, G. And then I want to want you to put your name. And I'll put my first name, Jerry. And then P represents the period. I'm going to put one. So this lab is called EKG. It's mine, period one. Now, your screen is going to look a little different than mine because mine's on a computer, but same rules apply. You're going to save it under a unique name, and then, of course, you're going to save it and press OK. Now, that's done. Every time you make a change to your page, save it so you don't lose your work. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to hook up the EKG monitor. And if you take a look in particular, we have these three uh, cables coming out of the amplifier box. You have green, you have black, you have red. Each one of these goes to a different electrode that's on my arm. 
And if you take a look at this right here, that's an electrode on my arm right here. And um, that's one place I'm going to put an electrode. So make sure whoever is the victim, I mean volunteer, um, put that on the inside part of your arm. Then there, another one goes right on your wrist, right there. And then another one, whoop, there we go, uh, goes on the other inside part of your arm. This is diagrammed on the amplifier box. Now I'm first going to put this red um, clip, alligator clip, on my arm right here. So I'm just going to put the red clip right here on my arm. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this black one and put it right here on my wrist. Whoops, let's see here. Right on my wrist. So I do that. And then I put the green one on the other inside part of my arm. Now I'm all hooked up. And now what I'm going to do is for about 30 seconds, I'm going to record. So I click the record button. And now what you can see, a couple of things going on. You're going to see the electrical activity of my heart. Um, and it's going to go up and down a little bit just because I'm talking to you and I'm trying to think. And I, as I look at this camera, I get more nervous. So, you know, it's going to go up. It's going to go down. But for the most part, I'm going to do this for about 30 seconds. Now, sometimes my heart rate will peak to a high, then it'll come down low. So if I wasn't talking, it'd probably be a little bit more consistent. So I, I think I'm pretty much done here. I have I, some good data to look at. So I'm going to go ahead and click stop. And now what I have, uh, and by the way, I usually have about a 72 beats per minute uh, average heart rate. So 74 is about right. Um, there's nothing going on here at home. There's not a, a, a lot of background stuff that distracts me. But anyway, if you take a look at this uh, picture that I've got from my graph, you'll notice that, get it in blue here, you'll notice that this doesn't look like anything. It's like, what does that mean? Um, that's part of this lab. You're going to have to decipher what all this means. If you'll notice, though, there are some tremendous spikes that are easily identifiable. And in between each one of these, like between here and here, this represents one. Whoops, I'm a little crazy. But in between each one of those spikes, that's one cycle of electro, uh, electrical activity. So the way we can isolate that is first thing is, Lift this up a little higher. You can do this with your finger right on um, uh, the data logger screen. So you're just going to press the x-axis and just move it up. And then the next thing you're going to do is go beneath uh, the x-axis and just click on one of the uh, seconds. And you're going to stretch it. So you're going to auto-scale it and you're going to customize it basically to your heart. And you're going to notice a few things as you do that. And I want to kind of focus on this one, so I'm going to pull it over here. And now what you can do, if don't you don't want to move it too much. Because right now what I have, let's bring it down just a little bit more. And I'll stretch it just a tiny bit more right there. I'm going to bring it over here in the center. Now you can do that, just focus on one of those cycles. Some of you will have really good um, uh, data. Some of you maybe only can have two or three good cycles. But work out a little bit. It may take you a couple of times. So anyway... In each of these cycles, there are certain waves that will de depict certain activity, electrically speaking, in the heart. For instance, here's one wave right here. This wave right here is called the P wave. Now that represents electrical activity just before the atriums or the upper chambers close down. They've just opened up. It's depolarizing all of those Elect the, the electrical activity is, is depolarizing the muscle, so it's beginning to relax. That is the P wave. And then you'll notice a sharp downward, this sharp downward part of the spike. This is a depolarization of the ventricular muscles, and it's just before it contracts. It's depolarizing a little bit, and it's getting ready to contract. So the blood is starting to fill up in the, in the uh, lower chambers or the ventricles. And that is referred to as the Q wave. And yeah, you should be labeling this similarly when you get your, uh, your data. And then at the very top, that's when the ventricles are at their maximum in terms of adding or applying pressure to the blood for it to go out to the rest of the body. And that is referred to as the R wave.
Okay. As it depolarizes and loses some of the, its electrical activity, we now get this part of the wave where it's on kind of a downward swing, and this was referred to as the S wave. Now, if you'll notice, the Q, the R, and the S really work together, and basically what it does is outshadows what's going on with the atrium because it's it's so electrically active and the, the pulses are so strong, you don't see what happens to the atrium as they repolarize. And then what we do is we end up over here with this one as it gets ready for the next phase. And before it gets ready to the next phase, this is called the T wave. And that's when it's um, getting to reset the atrium and almost ready for it to, to start an, a new cycle. So that's what you should be um, that's what you should be labeling an, on your own. Now, I've made a lot of changes here. So the best thing I would suggest that you do is you go, whoop, let me turn that off. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and save your file. Go ahead and save your file and press OK. Now, notice when I saved my file, all the annotation went away. Well, you don't have that annotation because what you're going to do is you're going to take this, once you isolate everything, print it out, and then annotate it or draw on it right on the paper because you're going to only draw this and then print it. Now, the next thing you, that you need to do after you've saved it, um, you're going to you're going to want to um, print it. So the way you print it is go back to here, go to Journal, and then hit Print Journal and press OK. So um, that's what you would do. But once you have got that done, you've got it saved. So another thing that you're going to do while you're here is you're going to take a snapshot of this. So take a snapshot of it. And then down here in the caption, you're going to write like, for instance, P wave. And then using uh, one, of the, uh, um, one of the resources that we have in the class, which is the iPad, you can go to the iPad, open it up, and press the program or the app that says Heart Pro 3. It has the explanation of each of those phases. Go to that resource, or you can go somewhere else on the internet using your iPad, and then like put the P wave, and you say it's a depolarization of blah, blah, blah. And then the second one, you put Q wave, and what it does, and so on. And fill that all out to the best of your ability. And then what you're going to do is hit Done. And then you save it. Then you print it. So if you have any questions about how to set up or what some of the phases mean, please ask myself or one of our TAs uh, from UC Davis. And it's important that you do that uh, when you get an opportunity. Please let me know um, if you need some help. I hope this has given you some good direction, and we'll be seeing you soon in the lab. Thanks.